Back around 2014, the administration of TJ Regional Health at the time and some local community leaders saw an opportunity, a need that TJ Regional Health could meet. The group came together and began having conversations about forming a foundation that would be part of TJ Regional Health. They began having conversations about what the first project should be as they began to explore all of the opportunities, all the needs that were available in our community. One of the things that clearly came to the top was the need for a residential hospice care facility that could serve Glasgow, Barron County, but also the TJ footprint, which is here in South Central Kentucky, having a project that would serve those who were in the latter stages of life and to serve the families who are going through the process of losing a family member. So it's that heart of compassion that deals with the loss of life that I think really led to the decision for this to be the first project. Shanti Niketan Hospice Home is such a beautiful place and it is second to none around here. Shanti means inner peace. And that is what our terminal ill patients and their family needs during the time of distress and discord. I see so many different pieces that we have to do and want to do. And this project, although it's a big part of our identity, it's not going to be the identity we have for decades to come. There are so many places that we need to evolve into and the foundation allows us to do that. For any charities, good charities, a time also comes that they have to develop a strategy for better future. One major piece, really addition to our foundation was a recent acquisition of another local foundation, um, Community Medical Care Foundation, that has a 20 year history. And that has now opened up many doors for us to, for many populations that were being served. We still have continued to help hundreds of seniors with prescription medication, hearing aids, and dentures. We began having conversations with members of the TJ team about other opportunities that we could help meet. The very first one was a need that came from our women's and newborns department, which was to try to help them provide car seats for families in need. We created what we called the TJ Sweet Seats Car Seat Program. The Sweet Seats Car Seat Program that was funded through the Community Mission Foundation ensures that our infants are delivered safely to their new home, to their new families, without the risk of injury during that initial transport. I receive phone calls throughout the month of families in need of additional resources, with car seats being that number one resource that's needed. So far, we've given out four of the new car seats that were given to us as a gift. The families are very grateful. There are times when they call in tears, not sure how they're gonna get a car seat to get their infant home. Being able to present these car seats to these families to help alleviate that stress and see that joy on their face, it's joy that can't be explained. The most incredible challenges that uh, we've faced as a society over the last two years as we've gone through our COVID experience is the uh, effect that it's had on all of our healthcare workers. And so one of the ideas that came out of that was the idea of these decompression rooms, a few minutes just to get away to be able to make sure that they're taking care of themselves because if they don't take care of themselves, they can't take care of our loved ones. The next project that we had come along, we created the TJ Healthcare Hero Serenity Garden. Our goal was to be able to have a place that would not only be as comfortable as possible, provide that serene environment, but also provide a, a place that was functional for them to maybe be able to take their lunch breaks. The central piece of our Serenity Garden is a river, and just to be able to sit there and uh, hear the water and hear the fountain just really brings that peaceful, serene feeling that we hope to be able to accomplish and to provide for our staff. The best way for uh, folks to be able to get involved is just to let let us know how that, that you have a heart and a passion to want to be a part and want to want to help and we can find a way to to find a place for you to serve. I think what I'm mostly looking forward to is just growing the footprint of the foundation. We have to start today because one day all of us are going to run out of time. So I'm asking everybody to step up and help and make a difference for everybody around us as much as you can. And the best part is, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. We are just getting started.